The Legend of Arsène Lupin, Gentleman Thief, is a tale that has been heard by most, but the truth known only by a few. Opinions are divisive, a playful swindler or a hardened career criminal. One thing that cannot be argued, the excitement of Arsène Lupin and his antics are unrivaled. They're just paranoid, as if Lupin's going to get anywhere near this place. I know you keep saying it's an impenetrable fortress, but you've heard the stories. Don't worry, it's an easy gig. We got our posts, and that egg stays safe and sound. Gentlemen. Taking for most, a walk in the park for Arsène Lupin. He was triumphant over the trials that had stood before him, but it was only with careful planning and execution that he could make every task look so simple. Huh? Now, a combination was all that stood between him and his prize. The combination had to be somewhere. Would they have trusted the now unconscious guards with such important information? Ah, eight. The terrified owners only trusted each guard with half the combination. Rummage, and he had what he required. Before he tackled the colossal vault door that blocked his path, he took a moment to remind himself of why he was there. The vault stood open like a cookie jar, just waiting for him to reach in. Oh.
Huh. Carefully, now is not the time to stray. Hmm. Locked, but for every door there is a key. Few more steps. Oh. A steady hand and huh. It was not the obvious that he was seeking. Huh. What he had really been chasing for so long. All that was left to do was escape. A simple task after the gauntlet of obstacles he had just championed until the alarm. If an alarm is required. <laughs> Let me guess. You read that in a newspaper. They also said I ran around in a top hat and cloak. When have you ever seen that? A little exaggeration never hurt, but it's your story to tell, if you have a different version of events. If you want the real truth, we'll have to go back further still. Let me tell you about a young man, Bernard Andrézy, his investigation and how it led to my arrest. On the second day, at a distance of 500 miles from the French coast, in the midst of a violent storm, a wireless telegraph message was received. Arsène Lupin is on your vessel. First cabin, blonde hair, wound right forearm, traveling alone under the name Ray. The telegram was cut short, but by the next morning, the whole ship had heard of Arsène Lupin's presence, and the deck was alive with gossip and rumors. <laughs> 